Hey guys, it's Wanda. Welcome to the kitchen today. I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to be cooking uh, chicken spaghetti, but it's not going to be chicken spaghetti. You know me, i got to change everything. So, today what I did, I went and looked in my cabinet. I have turkey from August of 19. What we're going to do, I'm not going to drain it exactly. I may need the juice in a little bit, so I'm going to take some of the meat out according to how much meat I need in my chicken spaghetti. Of course, this is going to be turkey spaghetti now. In most chicken spaghettis, you need peppers, onions, tomatoes, and hot peppers if you want it hot, but I'm not making mine hot. So, salsa from June of 20. This is our sauce. It has our peppers, our onions, our garlic, tomatoes. It has everything in here, so I'm going to use salsa instead. Okay, now my turkey and my salsa is already done. The next thing is spaghetti squash. Now, I have this spaghetti squash that I cooked and I put in the freezer. And I've just drained it so it's drained. And I'm going to dump it in my bowl. And I have spaghetti squash. Of course, it's not going to look like spaghetti, so you can't really say it's spaghetti. But I'm going to break this up a little bit. And then I'm going to add a little bit of my um, salsa, a little bit of my meat. And with, with all chicken spaghettis, you want a cream of. I got cream of covered. In my cookbook, I have a recipe for cream of. This, you could add some cheese to it and make a cream of cheese. You could add some of the chicken broth and make a cream of chicken or a cream of turkey, whatever you want. Um, right now, this has gotten pretty thick, so I might add a little of the turkey broth to it just to give it some of the flavor. And you can make this as thick as you want. Mine was three tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of flour, and about a cup of milk. The milk can be substituted with, like I said, your broth. Use it any way you want. So the main ingredients, the main ingredients of chicken spaghetti is your chicken, your broth, your cheese, and I have cheese covered. I bought cheese, I cheated. Chicken or turkey, the spaghetti, which I'm using spaghetti squash, the salsa, all that, that, and the cream of. That's it. I make a quick chicken spaghetti. I've done it for many, many years. My kids love it. But this is going to be a little different because I'm using spaghetti squash and I'm using all my canned stuff so everything's done. There's nothing in my recipe that is not done. So once I put all this together, it simply pop it in the oven and leave it for 30 to 40 minutes. Let the cheese on top brown really well and you're ready to eat. This is approximately a quart of spaghetti. So when you cook spaghetti, regular spaghetti, you're going to have about a quart of spaghetti when you get through. And I'm not breaking it up into little bitty pieces. What I'm doing is just trying to break it into bite-sized pieces somewhat. I'm not wanting mush. I'm wanting pieces of spaghetti in here. And that's what it's looking like. Now we're going to add salsa. And I don't want to get too much salsa that it's going to overpower. So, let's see if that's going to be... Let's do... I'm not sure if I'm going to put the whole thing yet. We'll try it. So that's going to be a good coverage here of salsa. We're going to do the same with the chicken, turkey, whatever, turkey. I'm just going to spoon it out in here. And it doesn't matter if you get a little broth because it's not going to matter. And if you don't want the big pieces, you just kind of break them up. Because they're really all to pieces after you can. That's probably all that I want. We're going to do a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And I'm going to add a little cheese to this. 
I'm going to add about half a cup of cheese. And I added the turkey broth to this because it was getting very thick. And I wanted it to thin down a little bit. So I added the turkey broth. And we're just going to pour it. And once I mix this together, it's just going into a pan. And I don't want it mixed where I make mush of my spaghetti or spaghetti squash. I just want it all kind of flipped together somewhat. And you see the chunks are still there. The chunks of everything is still there. It's still looking amazing. We're going to put it in my pan right here we didn't want to over mix Remember, everything in this casserole is done. We're heating to mesh the flavors and everything together and melt the cheese. Once this cheese is browned across the top, everything in the bottom will be done. So I've got the oven set at 375. We're going to pop it in there and check it in about 15 minutes. As a side dish, I'm sauteing red onions that we had. Um, I just cut them up in slices. I have them in the freezer, so I'm taking them out using my freezer stuff as much as possible. I'm going to be sauteing those. These are peppers from the greenhouse. I have red, yellow, or orangish looking, and green peppers. We're still getting peppers from the greenhouse. We're going to add those in in a few minutes. I'm going to be cutting them up in a few little pieces. Isn't that beautiful? The purple, the green, the yellow, the red just makes a pretty dish. Now to that I add the rest of the green beans from when I finished cleaning out the green beans in the greenhouse. These were picked four days ago from our greenhouse. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to let these saute down and I'm going to add some salt, a little bit of pepper, we're going to flip it. The green beans will start taking a really green color. I'll let them sit here and saute down for a few more minutes. I'll put a lid on it. About 10 minutes, these beans will be ready to eat. Our turkey, spaghetti squash, chicken spaghetti is done. Doesn't it look awesome? Instead of chicken spaghetti, it is turkey spaghetti squash. So we're going to see how Danny likes this in a few minutes. Our beans are almost done. We're going to fix the plate and let you know what it tastes like. Okay, so we're back in the kitchen and I wanted Danny to give you his honest opinion of this casserole that I made instead of chicken spaghetti. It is turkey spaghetti squash. And then we have our beans, our green beans and peppers from the greenhouse that were fresh. 
and the purple onions are some we grew this past year that I took out of the freezer. You want to eat beans first? Yeah. Mm. They're good, aren't they? Okay, green beans are amazing. Okay, so we taste know. taste of pepper in it. We know the green beans are amazing, but what about my turkey spaghetti squash? Okay, it's made with spaghetti squash then. Mm-hmm. Instead of just spaghetti, it's spaghetti squash. Oh my gosh, I think I like it better. It's home raised turkey. Mm-hmm. Home raised spaghetti squash. Mm-hmm. Wow. The spaghetti squash was in the freezer. The turkey and the salsa was in a jar. Um, the cheese, I bought the cheese. And I made the cream of. You like that? I mean, I think it's better than buying real spaghetti. You're not sitting here with spaghetti trying to twist your fork, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You don't have all them little long noodles hanging everywhere. I, I think this is... It still breaks apart in spaghetti-like yeah. tendencies because I cut it in pieces, chunks, and when you eat it, it's like spaghetti mm. pieces, only they're shorter. Yeah. Yeah, this is... I can taste the salsa. And the turkey, oh yeah, the spaghetti is perfect. I mean, we will be raising more of them spaghetti squash, I can tell you that. I, with me with a gluten issue, this is the perfect alternative to, uh, to spaghetti. I do believe I could serve this to people and they wouldn't know it wasn't spaghetti. I don't think they would know the difference. You see it, you see it hanging down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If y'all wondering why I'm wearing a, a toboggan, <laughs> it's cold outside. It's freaking cold outside with about a 20 mile an hour wind blowing, and I'm trying to work on the garage, and it is cold. Mm. Guys, oh, the, those peppers are amazing. Chicken spaghetti, mm. but turned into turkey spaghetti squash. I'd say it's a winner. Oh, this I, I, this is what I want from now on. I'll tell you. So, guys. Use your canned goods, use your frozen stuff, use your fresh stuff. We've got the green beans and peppers that were fresh. Yeah. Hey, it's awesome. Learn how to cook from what you have on your place. I think you're going to need it. Thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.